Hi, this is Sandeep. I wanted to make a quick video on some of the keyboard shortcuts that I use very frequently in Power BI. Now, these shortcuts uh, work in PowerPoint and I have always used them in PowerPoint and intuitively I thought they would work in Power BI and they always have. So just wanted to make a quick video um, and show it to you just in case if you are not aware of them. So the first one that I use very frequently is R drag. So let's suppose you have this line over here, it could be any visual shape or anything. And if you drag it and move it around on the canvas, uh, you'll see these red lines. And these red lines are good guiding posts for you to center the objects and it tells you where you can uh, snap on. But what if, but if you try to place this uh, line exactly where you want, you'll, you'll struggle uh, with that a little bit because uh, because of these red guiding lines. The way to get around that is just press Alt and now you can move it very very easily and freely. So right now I have the Alt button pressed and I'm just moving it very uh, freely on the canvas. If you release the Alt button, uh, you will go back to having those red lines again, which is good thing, uh, but uh, for finer adjustment and placement, you can just use the Alt button. Up and down arrows, uh, I think uh, most of you probably are aware of this. So you can uh, select any visual shape, object, anything, and up and down arrow, um, and the that object will move uh, very uh, in small increments. But if you do shift, uh, then it goes uh, pretty rapidly and quickly uh, on the canvas. So a quick way to move things up and down and sideways. Control shift arrow to make shape, uh, shape smaller and bigger. So let's suppose if I take a shape, draw it over here, um, and you can always grab the corner and then make it smaller, bigger, however you want it. Uh, but if you, you can do the exact same thing in smaller increments, finer increments, if you do control shift, and then if I do control shift and for example, do uh, the right arrow key, it will make it longer. If I do control shift and then uh, press the up arrow key, it will make it taller, down arrow key, smaller, um, so on and so forth. So just a quick way, if you're working on something and if you just want to make it smaller, bigger and really small increments, finer adjustment, then that's a good way to uh, do that. Shift resize to keep the aspect ratio. So again, um, if you grab the handle uh, and uh, if you move it, then the, uh, the shape changes. But if you want to keep the aspect ratio the same, you can always go back to the shape format shape options, uh, lock aspect ratio, and then grab the handle and it will keep the aspect ratio the same. Aspect ratio meaning the, the width and the length will be the same. Um, but uh, a quicker way to do that is just grab mm -hmm. the shift and then when you do uh, grab the uh, do grab the uh, the corner you will be able to keep your aspect ratio so if i release the shift you go back to free resizing if i press the shift button now um, and then uh, grab the corner you keep your aspect ratio control g to do uh, to group the object so if i do control c control v have these um, and if I want to group them, Power BI launched this recently, a couple of months ago. Um, but if I grab them um, and then do Control G, you can group them together. If you want to ungroup them, Control Shift G, and then they will be ungrouped uh, like this. You can always um, right click on them as well and then group them. Um, but I just find it a little bit easier that I just select everything. Um, and then control G uh, and they are grouped together, control shift G uh, to ungroup them. Where I find this very useful is, let's say I have uh, these cards over here and what I do is uh, grab the cards, uh, format them however I want, want to, um, select them, all of them, uh, go to format, align the center and then distribute them vertically, horizontally, however you want them, and then select them, and then do control G. And now what that does is you are able to keep all the cards, uh, if you uh, do control G and group them, 
you are able to keep the distance between them, them the same and then you are able to make all of them the same size. So this is pretty handy um, if you are a developing report and don't want to um, make them, I want to make all of them the same size and then if you don't do want to move them later you can always do control shift G and now they are on their own but now you have kept or mass edited them at the same time. Control arrow to move through the visuals very quickly. So if I select uh, any visual, for example, and then press control, and then the arrow keys up and down, um, then you can move them, uh, cycle through them very quickly. So control and then arrow keys, and then uh, you can move them very quickly through them. So just like that, you are able to move through the cycle through the visuals very quickly if you keep holding the uh, control arrow button. So just wanted to show some of the uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use very frequently. I'm sure there are uh, many more, but these are the ones that I use frequently. If you do want to uh, uh, look, look at my blog, you can go to powerbi.com. Um, I have written a few blog posts that you may find helpful. So check that out too. Thank you.